In this video, I'm going to show you how to build a one button click to reveal. So I was on the Adobe eLearning community and I saw a message from Pierre who wrote, Hi, I'm totally new to Captivate. Forget the dumb question, please. Spend hours on Google trying to find answers or tutorials without success. I'm trying to find a way to have a next button on my slide that shows multi-state objects state by state and then after the last state plays the next slide. I'm trying to set advanced actions for days, but can't manage to figure it out. Thanks for your help, smiley face, Pierre. First of all, Pierre, there are no dumb questions. There are only uh, dumb answers, of course. It's always good to ask these questions, uh, and hopefully there's someone out there uh, that can answer them for you. So that's what I'm going to try to do today. So uh, there's some question about what you're trying to achieve exactly. But I'm going to take my interpretation of this and you can do with this uh, as you see fit. So I've created this multi-state set of objects. Uh, in this case here, we start off with this object, which also has an image in the background here. And there are three additional states, uh, one with some additional different text and a different image, third state, and then fourth state. Uh, the idea being that, you know, under normal circumstances, I would probably do this as a click to reveal, uh, say have four buttons or possibly some carousel type buttons. But in this case, I'm going to work with your idea of having a single next button, which takes you through those states and then on to the next slide once you've finished. So the first thing that you're going to need is you're going to need a variable to keep track of which states have been visited already. So I'm going to click the project drop down menu and select variables. And from here, we're going to click on add new. Now you want to call this variable something that's easy for you to remember. I'm going to use underscore counter because I'm simply counting the number of states that have been visited. The initial value, I'm going to set it for one and I'm going to hit save to save that as a user variable I can later use in my advanced action. So I can go ahead and close the variables window. And next I'm going to select the next button that I've added to this slide and go to my actions tab and change this from on success, go to next slide to execute advanced actions. Now, I don't have any scripts written so far, but I can click the folder icon next to that and begin to write my advanced action. I'm going to call this state change and next. Now this needs to be a conditional action and how conditional actions work is that you need to select the conditional tab and it's going to kind of build a structure for you. It's going to start off with if, and we fill in what the conditions are, are true, and then run a bunch of actions, else run different actions. So in this case here, we're going to look at the condition of the variable that we've just created. So I'm just going to double click on this second column here and then select variable and we'll choose the variable that we've just created. If counter is less than the literal value of four, we're going to go to the next state of our smart shape one. Best practice would be to label this object. I forgot to do that. And we're also going to increment our counter by a value of one. So it's going to start off and it's going to say if the counter is less than four, which its initial value is one, that's going to be true. It's going to switch to the next state of this particular multi-state object. And then it's going to increment the counter by one. When you press the next button again, it will check and we'll see that the value is two and then three and then so on. 
once the value is 4, in other words, once we viewed all the states, we're going to create an else section for this advanced action. And this is simply going to be go to the next slide. So we'll save this as an action, click OK, and click Close. And now you can see that our on success action, it has our state change and next advanced action saved here as the script to run. I'm also going to click on hand cursor and disable click sound just because I don't like the sound of the click sound in Adobe Captivate. Now let's preview this project and see if it works as expected. So we'll choose preview in HTML5. So here we are, we'll click our next button and we see the next state and the next state and the next state. And then finally, we go to the next slide where we can now answer the knowledge check associated with that particular interaction. If you thought this video was useful, please like and share with your colleagues. If you need help with your next e-learning project, hire me. My focus is to create effective e-learning that achieves your business goals. Visit my website at CaptivateTeacher.com and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel.